Listen, man, this this how I keep them. It's just being coming out my heart. You know what I'm saying? I do different type of. Uh, it depends on your what you do. I talk real stuff, real life events, right? Right. Like just like the stuff we just talked talk, talked about. That's dear to my heart. Let's get this cracking. <laughs> What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? You're listening to the CYPT podcast. It's the podcast of the strongest, fastest, most powerful print shop on this side of the Eastern Seaboard. I'm just Niles. It's your boy Boogie behind the camera. I'm Clay, also known as Fearless. And today we got our special guest in the house, Trap Talk Blue. Mm. Trap Talk Blue. Yes, sir. Let them know what you do. Do everything, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm porn star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my girl right there. Like, yeah, right, right. Like, what you gonna porn with? Like, what? No, I'm just joking. But no, I do. Uh, you know, I do podcasts, comedy, movies, all that. I'm in a couple of movies that's out right now. Wait, what movies are you in? I'm in uh, My Hitters Part Two, and I'm in um, Uncle Roommate. Where they? Where are they all? Oh, you know, all streaming device. You know, like two B, all that stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know. So, right well, basically. what you play? Well, and, and, and um, well, t- first tell me the movie, and then tell me what you. Well, play. Well, by hit this part two, I took Crane Overcame place. Right, he was in the number one. Right, you know, you know Crane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so basically, there was a lot and, of stuff for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in part two, I took his part. I was like the dirty cop. Whatever, okay. Right. So it's just a small part, you know, and um, so I did that. Then and um, then we just did the comedy, Uncle Roommate. Small part again, my dog, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good. So you know, we working up to I write movies, actually. You know what I'm saying? I write a lot. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You're a writer, actor. Yeah, do Slash, comedy. Comedy. Slasher, comedy. Comedy. Man. Yeah, that's my thing. And, you know, comedy. And, um, yep, this YouTube. That's what I'm doing. So, so. you was you like, like the class clown? Like no, actually, growing up in school. No, not really though. I was always a respectful guy in class. That's crazy, ain't it? But you know, you know, my, you know, I look damn near albino, right? So you know, like white, right? So you know, you getting roasted when you're younger. So you, you know, people try. You know, I had light blue eyes. I was a handsome, good looking guy, like I am now. You know how guys be hating on you when you younger, hating, talked about you, and I just, I just went nuts. Like, and I was, I always fit in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I learned to be funny at an early age. You know what I'm saying? And I just, hey, you know what I'm saying? That's what it was. I had to be funny. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, you ain't going to just roast me. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's $10. Yeah, $10. I'll be 10 I got you. <laughs> <laughs> that was real quick. That was real quick. That was real quick. I got you. That's it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. I'm yeah. going to be rich. This, this, I had to find a way to make some money. <laughs> I, I, I got a $100,000 tab. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but no, yeah, that's how it became. You know, just be fun. Like I tell my son, my son, he got my same name and everything. You know, blue eyes. He a handsome guy. You know, real curly hair, everything. And you know, they call me white boy. Like you know, what I'm saying I got like a thousand nicknames: white boy, red, blue. You know, what I'm saying. So where I hear them names from, I know where I know the person from. So my cut, my me, my cut, my my um my son. He don't like to be called white boy. You know, he take that offensive. You know, so I said, mm-hmm. man, you gonna grow up. You gonna you gonna you gonna embrace it. You know what I'm saying? It's all about you know. Your, and my son funny as me. Oh up. yeah, like he yeah he hilarious. When I tell you he he hilarious, he hilarious. You you breed and sell dogs too, right? I do. Y'all is is that a new venture that you just came off into? No, I bred dogs my as long as I can remember. Like I was into pit bulls when I was younger. Okay. And I used to fight dogs. That's why my company, you know, you did my t shirts, you know, the game right. affiliated entertainment. Yeah. That's that's my that's my company is game affiliated. And that come come from um me and my cousin, we started a um kennel club back in the day. And then that's what turned into a record company. Like game affiliated you know, means affiliated with the game. That's the dog game, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And um yeah, I started off with the pit bulls. And now me and K.A., we breed um, French bulldogs, English bulldogs. You know, that's that, them that dogs name. that cost all that money, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, what's the average price of one of those starting dogs? Starting off at like 5000 Yeah. But starting off at 5000 yeah, Purebred? Yeah, about 
Five thousand. And you got the papers, uh, uh, everything. everything to them, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, we're yep. gonna get that information if you, they want to get some dogs. How to get yep. at you on that too? Yep. But then it came off into this like YouTube thing. How did you get off into that? What made you want to do it? Did you see some uh, a lot of money in it, or no. like, what made you just did it just to be doing it? Or no, actually, it started off um, the comedy. People always thought I was funny, right? This is how it all started. One day on my porch, a guy he worked for This Is Fifty. That's VC, a guy I know. You know what I'm saying? I grew up where I knew his father and all them. And one day we was on the porch, and um, he was, like, trying to get me. He knew if he came and tried to record me to be funny, I wasn't going to do it. Mm-hmm. So he snuck, like, a little mic in his pocket, right? Mm-hmm. And it had a little red light on it. So they got, I, I'm in rare form talking to all type of junk, and I seen a um, thing in his pocket. And Thought I was he like, was the police. Yeah, no, it was like I knew he was recording me, but I was like, "What well, God, you know what I'm saying? So, but somehow that led to that day, I was like, oh, you record me. So he had the funny stuff, but all of a sudden I just went into like a real mode. And I got to talking about like the draw, the drug laws, the, you know, we've been out there drinking. Mm. So I got into like the drug laws, the, 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 uh, the, the gun laws and how we being treated and, um, he did, he edited and stuff like that. So he did it and sent it to me. And once he did it and sent it to me, I was listening to it and somebody was next to me and they was like, damn, who is that? Like, they was like, man, they kicking some real stuff. I said, that's me. They said, that ain't you. I said, that's me. And that's how I started. That's so I was like, bam. So I wanted to do the comedy, but I really weren't brave enough to go, you know, stand up. Because I, I remember back in the day, People was telling me to go up there to three one three to 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 go with foolish in them foolish and okay. I think one of them guys they was they was they was up in the club three one three and they was like you way funny and they was trying to get me to go up there and roast them guys or whatever and um but this how I started so I I said dang so once I I said damn this YouTube is the way you know what I'm saying you ain't got to do no stand up comedy you can just do what you do at your leisure you know how I go I can put a camera on me and say you know what I'm saying. Be as funny as I want to, but in my own comfort, put it that way. And so that's how it all started. That's how the YouTube thing started. And dog put me up on YouTube and all that. So I didn't know nothing about it. And then he put me up on it and I started doing it. But I have yet to mess with the comedy. I always do like drug law, you know, different subjects. Yeah, I was watching uh, some of your uh, videos and it. I didn't see any comedy, and and no, now you not. now you telling me that that's how I yeah. got started. That's how I got started, yeah. and it's a it's really good when somebody tells you when you listen to yourself, yeah. and somebody else says this can't be you, bro. That's how you know you're doing something right, man. Right. That, that's how you know they don't even believe it's you, right? It's, yeah. it's it's that good that 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 lets you know right there. Yeah, man. Like um, the stuff I stuff I talk, man, is like it's different, man. I touch down on real subjects, man. And it's a lot of guys I like in the game. Now I see this dude named Dollface Cal Drum. Remember I told you him? Yeah, yeah. And he talks some real good stuff now. Like he the only guy, like it's a lot of guys I can relate to. It's a lot of fake stuff going on, but I kick the real. But why the why the shift from the from the if it started with the comedy, how did you shift to I don't the, know. the I, this real like the salt box that you have now? And I, I can't tell you. It just was like I guess it was pent in me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I done seen so much. You know, we grew up in the hood where I, I done seen so much going on, so much violence, so much unfairness. It was just stuff that's built up in my heart. And once I started talking about it, especially when I put it on YouTube, I mean, I got 20,000 views, damn near off rip. You so, know what I'm saying? So, Blue, like what year was this you started when, when he, the guy filmed you and you said, that was, uh, you know, I'm going to. Do this YouTube thing. What year was it? Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Oh, oh, that's that's fresh, that's fresh, that's fresh. So, yeah. like, who started you out? You didn't know nothing about YouTube, did he? Say, yeah. okay, this is what you got to do. You go here, or did you figure it out on your own? No, nope. actually, I was paying people at first. You know what I'm saying? I was like, well, how do you do this or that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know how we do we. At that time, getting a couple of dollars, I'm like, well, how I do this and this? They was like, well, you know, you can get rich off your phone, you know what I'm saying? You know, so maybe buy my first iPhone, because I ain't believing iPhones, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I'm like, man, who the fuck want an iPhone, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a waste of money, you know, I was a cheap dude. You was an Android, you had yeah, a Metro like, or something? Like, no, 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 what you call it? The uh, the other one, not the... Uh, what's the other one? You know, not the, not the, what's the best Android you can buy? 
uh, a simple mobile? Well, <laughs> what? No, but it was a galaxy. Uh, galaxy. Uh, okay, it was okay. a galaxy. Oh, galaxy. It was okay. a galaxy, right? A cheap one though. And I was with Metro. Then I went to Verizon and I got the um the iPhone or whatever. And I started just filming myself, man. And then just thoughts that come to my mind. So see what happened was my boy, they was like, man, you never gonna do it. Cause me, I always wanted to do it perfect. I always want to have a setup like this before I even do it, right? I said, man, I got to get this, this, and this. Nigga, like, man, just do it and don't worry about that. You know what I'm saying? And so I just start. I did it once, and my views was through the roof. I'm like, dang, because I'm looking like, man, well, when I first did, like I was telling you, I said, man, I got, I said, I got a hundred and some. So you, know, you, you, you paid somebody to do it. You just shot yourself, and then you paid somebody to do all that. No, upload okay, it no, no, that. no. I didn't know how to upload. I paid, yeah, I paid somebody to. Show me how to, you know, even do. I didn't know nothing about it. Right. So but how from to the film yourself you, in the you, Facebook? So I paid my man to do it. it wasn't much money. Right. It wasn't like I paid him no thousand dollars or nothing. Mm-hmm. It was a couple of dollars, and he was like, "Well, look, you film yourself and you push this, this, and this." So that's how I got with the YouTube thing. So once I start recording myself, like when I first started, I had I got up to like a hundred followers, and I'm like, man, this. You know, I'm looking at TikTok taking off. I got a thousand followers. You know, uh, Facebook that's taking off. I got a thousand followers in a month. But my man was like, when I told him I only had a hundred followers, my man was like, man, that's a lot of followers. You only been on this mug a month. Yeah, that's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot. lot. It was like you only been on here a month. Yeah, like, you know how long it, it took me to get a hundred. <laughs> no, that's what he was saying. But yeah. I didn't understand YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I didn't understand YouTube at all. So. I got a hundred, man. And then once I went to that hundred, I never forget. I had started at this job out here uh, in Livonia. I had went to Indiana. I bought two dogs. And I came back. I filmed that. And then I never forget. My it just it just took off from there. Like I had a thousand subscribers within a, less than a year, right? That's how I got my first one thousand. And I'm I'm thinking that's you know what I'm saying I'm still I thinking that's enough, but People are like, man, that's extraordinary. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I remember when you first started. Like, yeah. we basically, I think we started at the same time because we were talking about cameras. Yeah. And remember I, I told you I had the, the you, M50, yeah, and I'm had, looking at this M50. now, like, that's nothing. Yeah. Play yeah. being humble. No, no, this is. I'm like, no, no, he be doing that. No, no, dog. this is. Uh, no, actually, but I know, I know Clay. He be videos, doing that. No, actually, man, I used a lot of old equipment. All, none of this was new. This was stuff that I was just okay. already had in the, you know, in the in the in the repertoire. I just brought the old stuff. I got a camera from my dad. Used this camera. You know, I started piecing yeah. stuff together. Right. Yeah, but well, you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, yeah. we already had all that. Yeah, we just trying to put it together. So uh, it yeah. took off, man. Just just speaking my heart and speaking my mind, man. That took off. So I guess I'm doing good now because, like, I'm not no big YouTuber now, but I got over four thousand subscribers within a year, and that's 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 outrageous. very impressive you know for me because yeah. I don't even I don't have that many followers, and I was like, wow, like how you how you do that? Because now I was like, man, you got to tell me how you got to tell me some of the pointers and stuff. But. I- yeah, go ahead. Was, was you was you like what about Facebook and Instagram and TikTok? Man, I'm not none of that. Instagram right did now. Did you start off with any any of, of them? None of that. Now Facebook that, but I did. I had a Facebook page that got five hundred, five thousand people. You can get on Facebook, right? But listen, that had nothing to do with this YouTube. That was just me, you know, going to high school with people. That had nothing to do with what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So and then so let me tell you how haters are come too though. So like. I had my Instagram finally hooked. Everybody like do Instagram. I'm like, man, fuck that. You gotta have some. That's twenty. That's twenty dollars. <laughs> so forget that. You gotta have a lot of um, follow. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be looking good to be on. You know what I'm saying? So I never really messed with Instagram too much, but I got an Instagram account. But all my Facebook, I guess when I put it on my reels, it go to, you know what I'm saying, to Instagram. So I never had none of that at the beginning. It all came from you got, me, you got YouTube, connected. You got and I connected. never and I never did nothing extra. And that's what people saying extraordinary because a lot of people go through different steps to mess with the the, the, um, the YouTube. I, all I do is record and put it out there. Mm-hmm. Now, did you ever get a chance to use that camera? That M- nope, never. No, never. So you never. still got that, and you doing all this on off, an iPhone. off an iPhone. All I'm doing is off an iPhone. In, 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 in the bedroom, amazing. In the bedroom, 
in a beer. With a, with, with, with a beer and bummy. But that's that's raw, and I think that's, that's what people like. That's the what most, people you know? like the most, that, and that's you know how you capturing what you capturing. I believe. I don't know what's your take on that. No, because I be looking at guys with sets like this. What I'm saying is right, and this is this the perfect for like this is what I want, right? So I'm trying to build that. So we we put money into a place now, and I was looking for places I can rent. You know what I'm saying? Like to make it look more professional. But it's like the more professional I look, like even I put thumbnails on it, I don't get as many um, viewers as I do just raw. With the raw, right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Ain't that crazy, though? But, but that's what people like. They yeah, like that raw, that raw, real. is real, yeah. and that's what they look for. You know, even if they see that thumbnail, like, hey, who is this? Let me click it's on that. Edit yeah. It's edited. It's fake, you yeah. know. But I just talk, man, I just talk from the heart, man, and I just, I just, you know, get on different subjects. I scroll down YouTube. And I listen to the Breakfast Club or something like that, and I hear something, then I jump on that topic. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, the comedy thing ain't even came into play yet. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do have, um, I want to get out there and start vlogging. Like, you know, like what you, like the stuff you know you doing. Like, mm -hmm. you might go to, you know, people restaurants. You know, I want, I want to put Detroit in a good light. I'm so tired of hearing these outsiders do Detroit. And all you see is fucking, uh, excuse me. That's 30. Oh, man. 30, 30. I'm at 1,000 before I leave. But listen, yeah. you you hear about so many guys outside with ski masks on and AK-47s. and You know what I'm saying? They they, they find these burnt down houses. I'm like, man, how? What, 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 what? Listen, man. Everybody you, who you look at who document Detroit is horrible, man. That's not the real Detroit. Look where we live at. We got beautiful brick houses in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We do. Mm -hmm. Listen, man, yeah. you you know, you had to go out your way to find something burnt up now. You know what I'm saying? You had to go to, like. They just be showing the worst part the of worst. it. <laughs> and then I'm like, man, there's this 10 guys the worst. out here with AK-47s and all this out here. Like, where am I going to see that right now? Like, me and you can ride around Detroit right now, today, tomorrow, the next day. Where are we going to find at it? Yeah, but they're not going to show you Motown Museum or, you know, They're not going to show you right behind or... us. They're not going to show you Grandmont District. They're not going to show you Rosedale. They're not going to show you real living. Like, Detroit is beautiful. We got the best ghetto in the world. Listen, if you're not from here and you come here, you'll be like, you'll be fooled. Because I was yeah. on the east side about to go to UPS, and I was like, man, this is a nice neighborhood. I don't know about the east side. I'm on the west side, of right? She was like. You in the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right now, a person come and come right here on Schoolcraft and Greenfield. Yeah. This the murder zone. What are you talking about? Schoolcraft and Finkel? What are you? This this where all the murders happen. Right. Plymouth, school. We on Greenfield, right? So any person who come here, just think of one of these houses. You come from any other city. You thinking this a nice neighborhood. This ain't no nice neighborhood. I mean, it's nice if you from here, but... It's cutthroat around here. You know what I'm saying? No, it's a... It's you feel a, what I'm wait, saying? hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's cut. This ain't the 2, two what, 205. Yeah, What's yeah. the 2? No, the east What's side. Think east about side? the... Like, listen, like, listen, we all... Okay, where Pringle. where is it safe at then? In Detroit? Yeah. If where you, where if is it safe you, at? If you firm, like, is, this, it, is these statistics, where are you getting this information from? Listen, man, I grew up around I mean, here. things so, you know, happen all over the neighborhood, right. all over Detroit neighborhoods. Right. Yeah. But what? listen, what I'm trying to tell you, man... Schoolcraft, Finkel, Puritan Avenue, Plymouth, off Greenfield, is what? Yeah. There's nothing. It's, well, it's horrible. Happen. See, we we see the thing is we live here, so it don't seem as bad to us, yeah, right? Callous to yeah. it. But yeah. watch the watch the news, yeah. right? So that's what I'm trying to say. We we callous to that. Well, well I tend not to watch the news no more because yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't watch. Well, we it no got more. beautiful ghettos, is what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm so tired of these guys coming from other cities um, putting this BS out here. You know what I'm saying? They show them dudes out there with all these guns and they tell them these burnt down houses. Where? Well, you know what that is? What? That's fake news. Yeah, that's fake. It's that's fake, fake news. news. But that's why I want to do the real Detroit. Right. I want to show, I'm not going to show just the good side. I'm going to show the, you know, the bad. It's, it's bad. But listen, I want to show a better side of Detroit. I want to show how we coming up with all the good restaurants. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Good, and that's what we trying to do. My dog Clay got the shop here. You know what I'm saying? Positive stuff. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 But yeah, they put us in a bold light though, man. They do, man. These guys coming from out of town. All I see is negative, 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 negative Detroit. So what's, what's your subject matter? What do you talk about mainly on your uh, 
this channel. One, this what we talking about right now. Right now. Right I'm now. Talking about this Just right here. All positive. Uh, no, what, no, no, what, no, what no, you, no. What do you, you, you talk about? I, what is the subject matter that that you like? What title yourself at? Like, well, I talk about real life. You know, situations. subjects, right? You know, what I'm saying I talk about more like only. Well, I don't limit to my, myself to okay. nothing. You okay. know what I'm saying? I might, t- I might, it's, it's nothing I won't talk about. I might get on a rapper today. I might talk about something that happened, you mm. know, headlines, right? And I might get 20, 25,000 views and I only got 4,000 followers. But I might get 25, 20,000, 30,000 views on, on something I'm talking about, about a rapper, though. But when I talk real about the gun laws, when I get to talking about, um, you know, the gun and drug laws or, you know what I'm saying, how, you know, different stuff that goes on in real life. Yeah. It's, you know what I'm saying. It's, so do you see a fluctuation, a fluctuation in views with different topics? Yeah. When I talk about the real stuff, gun laws, drug laws, you know what I'm saying, how they getting over on us and this and that, it don't get no, you know what I'm saying, the views be low. Okay. But, when I, but let's say right now, I don't like WAG 100, right? Right. Uh, who, now tell her who, who is Wack 100. That's, a, that's, a, that's he, what people he, don't know. He another, he a, uh, <laughs> he a, uh, I can't cuss, but he a, uh, he a guy that, you know, he an influencer, I would say. You know what I'm saying? He he got a good name for himself, like Wack 100. I don't mess with too much. Bosco 100. Them guys, they negative. You know what I'm saying? They, they got a, um, a good platform out here, but they use it for the negative. So I go in on them guys, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't like the negativity that they do. So if I talk about them, my views are going to go through the roof. Like any anybody, like when I talked about him talking about Master P, that was the first time I got 20,000 views in my life. Have you ever got like any comments, say like you talk about WAC 100, have, have, have anybody ever responded like either him personally or somebody from his team like say, who is you? No, uh, no, he ain't never responded, but I had big podcasters respond to a lot of stuff that I done done. I had like, you know what I'm saying, I done had like a uh, baby brother, Gangsta Williams, you know what I'm saying, okay. he, he, you know, I, I can't name all of them, but Gangsta Williams is one of them that, that um, you know, that, that. Responded to me, you know what I'm saying? In a negative way or positive? Like positive, positive yeah, like, man, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I was talking some stuff about him, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, in a positive light, and he, uh, you know. You ever got any threats? Like? No, nah, but I got some, uh, <laughs> I ain't really got no threat. I don't take them serious, but, you know, all I got more threats from that my people. That wasn't a no. No, I wouldn't have known, but I, I, I done had kind of like, you know what I'm saying, you better watch, you know, like, why, I don't, nobody paying attention to that guy. You look on there, and he got one sp- subscriber. Well, you know, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Right. right, so you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it, I ain't really, you know, it's like uh, my people most so be like, well, you got to watch who you say this about. Like when I was talking about whack, and I'm talking about, um, who else I was talking I was talking about another person. They was like, man, you know, you – you can't really talk about them because they got connects in Detroit and yada yada. What'd I you said, f- man, well, I, like I'm worried about them guys. I'm well, let me Detroit let me ask you what are your statutes and limitation on 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 free speech on, on on this on. It feels like a lot of people, and, and you've even talked about it on some of your podcasts. Some people just kind of like say, uh, just anything without thinking of any repercussions or anything like that. Uh-huh. And and even you have come down and I'm like you you got to. You don't need to talk too much. You kind of got to watch what you say. How, how, how do you feel about that? Th- this this complete open window for just all information and anyone to just say anything that they want. And it uh-huh. could be fake news or anything like that. There's definitely a downside to it. How do you make sure that you're not doing that? Because I, I always come in on real stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I, like I say, one thing I always do, I try to keep it 100 and real. You know, if you watch my content... And my homies just called just before I came to do this show. You know what I'm saying? They was coming to support me to do it. And they was like, man, you know, you always talk talk about real subjects. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm always going to talk about something that I feel good with in my heart. You okay. know what I'm saying? I'm never going to put out nothing that's fraudulent or fake. You know what I'm saying? So even if a person called me out on it, so what, I feel I feel that way. I stand on mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's how you, you feel. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's how I feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't nothing fake. And that's that's what I, I'm telling you, man, Clay. That's that's what gravitates you views. Like what y'all got going on here, it's gonna be bigger. It's gonna take a minute, but it's gonna be big. 
And you're going to be one of the biggest guys out here because you're selling a product and you're a good person. See, character sells views. They got to believe saying? it. They mm-hmm. got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, y'all good guys, right? Y'all got good characters, right? So people are going to want to see that. It might not take off. Nah, man, I be looking at guys' pages, man. They've been on here since 2009. But yeah, they got 500,000 subscribers now. But God, you know, it took a minute, right? But but it might, it's not going to take y'all that long to get there with the right people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep doing it because, Clay, you know a lot of people. You get Trick Trick on here, a couple people on here that you know, these guys. And you going to make it, man. Because characters sell everything. I think that's why people, um, that's why my page blowing up kind of fast. Mm-hmm. Your know character is real. It's authentic. Yeah, I, it's you know, when character. I first when I first met you, you can game recognize game and people recognize people, real right. people. Right. You know, and when I met you, it was like, oh, he real. It's you real know what I'm saying? He a real dude. And that's yeah. why I mess with and that's why I mess with you. You know what I'm saying? But, we been, man, we knew each other for damn near 20 years. Yeah, yeah think yeah. about it. Or 20 years. I'm thinking about it. Like when we first met each other. Like you was doing this and we know people in common, yada, yada, yada. And you know. You know, I was you gonna know, ask I, how y'all met. But I, said, I, yada, I know yada, people yada. that know you, and you know Clay' name is good. You know what I'm saying? He's a good guy, and and, and I, I pretty much know where he come from. Mm-hmm. And it ain't nothing fake about this guy. So like, you know how people change their lives as they get older. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna go much into it because I don't know what you you know what I'm saying. Right, how right, your right, people right. Go, but I know Clay. You know, he one of them guys that's gonna always be respected. Everybody always. who come here gonna be res- respect this guy. Because where he come from, you know what I'm saying? And the things he done, you know what I'm saying? Not negative. He ain't, I'm not saying he's a serial killer, but Clay is a good guy. And he come. I, I, pre- I appreciate all, all this, man. No, I'm no. about, about <laughs> to tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Keep it going. Keep it going. I am. Keep going. Man, I'm just telling you, his, 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 your respect, man, going to go a long way. Your character and, your, and the respect that, that people got for you, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, Come on, man. I try to keep my name good. It, it ain't like you don't know what's going on. Yeah, you know, I'll yeah. put it to you like that. You know, people grow up, they get kids and shit, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody you gotta don't, switch it up. Everybody don't want their businesses out here. Like a lot of these guys now, they want everything they do or have done erased. No, no, not erased. They want they want it on TV. They want they want to look if I, if I back in the day. I was a hitman, or I had sold drugs, or I did this and I that. They he was commenting about guys. that the other day uh-huh. that that people from like back in the, like you were talking, they 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 didn't want to be part of the camera. You didn't want to be so seen. Look. You didn't want your name out there. I just, now it seems man, so the glad. complete opposite. Yeah. So look, this is what I'm telling to you right now. I just did one on that, and I was listening to Dollface Kel Drum on TV. Right on on a, on, on a, what you call it, and I was like, man, I was listening to Steve Fishman, Dollface Keldrone, and the Chamber Brothers. Okay, and so one of the BJ Chambers was talking about this. It was like it's a different group of guys out here, right? It's funny how I watched all three of them in a row, and they all said the same thing. It's a different time now, like you know what I'm saying. Like back then, Steve Fishman, which is a lawyer, he was like, man, nah. 95% of the guys telling, even the big guy telling. He said, man, they might not know they working, Dang, but they work. 95. That's what that, I was that, telling you. That, that's what he there's said. No, Dang. There's, there's nothing yeah, you can do. There's nothing that, you can do. Like, I don't yeah. see how guys out here is still surviving in it. And I question that they, you know, out they here not. long, a long time. And then, you know, if, especially if they dripping and draping, and I'm yeah. like, why is he How's still he out doing here? that, you know? He ain't out Since here, Since you two both come from – that era though I do want to ask you do y'all believe if social media was the same then as it is now we ain't had social media no I'm, yeah, I, I understand right. that but I, I I think that that is or if we had that, like, it back if then if you guys had social media the way it is now then no, I don't do think you believe the whole, I think no. the, do you think it wouldn't have been social media no. wouldn't have made it when we was coming yeah, it, it wouldn't no. have made it cause like you say cause it, you tried to keep keep it low you kept everything yeah. on the low you didn't but want there's to. nothing different now except that there is social it's, media no, what's it's, different it's is different. the different it's the different people group it's the different group but is the activity the same the activity is basically the same but it's just a different breed is it because of social media yeah, I yeah, would. I yeah. would. I so would social that. media yeah. was around yeah. when you guys okay. were coming up. Do you believe that you will be the exact same now? Well, I, like it's, I, it's, I, it's, I it's like this. in the, it's like in the. There we go. You doing what the next man doing? Right. Basically, so you see him on 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 
Instagram and he and somebody, you know, holding up money or something like that. And you say, wow, let, let me do it then. Let me show this. And I think it just caught on like that. You know what I mean? So when you saw another guy with this car or with this chain well, we did, or with we, these we did, sunglasses. We, we did, and that was our way, you know. But then still, you had a lot of people just was low key. But that, that was the way back then. You would do it with, you know, chains and whips and stuff so like that. So that was the social media then? That basically, I would say so. Yeah, I would say so. What you think, Blue? Listen, I, I just, I did a whole subject on this. And um, I, I if I would play it for y'all, y'all would be. It, What's the, do you remember the, uh, so they can look it yeah, up? Yeah, so do they can look it up. The, uh, let them know which one. Let them no, know. I, it's not even out yet. It's not even okay. out yet. Oh, I, I, okay. it's still so on my this phone is coming. Right now. This is I coming. did that earlier. That's funny y'all talking this about this. This is hot blue stuff coming. Listen, what I'm trying to tell you is, back in the day, it's, it's a difference, man. Like, the people was different. See, the guys in the 80s, you got to think where how slavery started, yada, 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 then it went to guys coming from down south, right? Mm -hmm. So everybody went to the south, right? Pretty much, I'm going to cut it short. So they went to the south from slavery, right? So these guys that came up, they came to the city looking for work. But then the crack era here, right? So like you got guys like the Chamber Brothers and all these guys, like, like Billy Joe Chambers was saying, like, I can walk around with thirty or forty thousand. I ain't got to worry about really mm -hmm. getting robbed and or the police. They because the police really went up on it, and the guys, you know, it was like a loyalty thing. Then see, listen, when gangster rap messed up everything, dog. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, what do you mean by that? Listen, Let's dog, unpack listen, that. Listen, before like just think about the Chamber Brothers, like our city. Okay, the Chamber Brothers, White Boy Rick, um, Maserati Rick, all these guys, right? right? Demetrius Holloway, all Bush these guys, Jones. right? Bush Jones, all them guys. That's the 80s, right? That's the 80s. So you got to think about it. Before then, they didn't have no rapper telling them to get money or how to live. They are the example to us. How, you know what I'm saying? So when you think about it, like, these guys got money to survive and do their thing. And then once you get to the 90s, the easy eating them fucked it up. Nah, because all... That's $40. Oh, $40. <laughs> So look, so all the rappers want to imitate these guys. Stop. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? They want to imitate these guys. It was no social media, none of that then. These guys out here living their life, they don't want to be on camera. They don't want to be seen. They hustling really to eat, right? So, but you made so much money, it's like, okay, now I can go buy this and this the things I wanted. We still in the hood. Do you understand where I'm going with it? You're saying so, that it wasn't about flashiness. It no, was about it was. survival. It became about flashiness because you got so much money. What can you do but be flashy, right? But it started with survival. It started with survival. It's like, okay, we got this way to get out the ghetto. But what I'm trying to say is, it's like these new guys got the internet. They mocking these guys. These guys didn't have nothing to look on. And say, this is what I wanted to be. They were the real. They were the originals. The originals. Transsetters. You know what I'm saying? They were the transsetters. Them guys. So they, that's why, that's why Steve Fishman was like, man, these guys back then, they never told on nobody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, you know, you had a few snitches, but they knew what they was getting into when they got into it. So it was like, you didn't have all the snitching. He he said that. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, 90% hey. of the time now, if you get caught, somebody that snitched on you. And that's what he's saying because, the listen, man, because it's a social media world. Now, once that social media came, and it was crazy is they, all they raps is based on the old guys, the stand-up guys, don't snitch and this and this. All they doing is telling. You know so what I'm saying? They're not holding up to that. It's like, it's like, man, how can I put it? I can't even put I can't even put it right when I tried to set it on my podcast, but... They are, um, they influence, they, the fake stuff now goes over better than the real. They, they don't respect the real. That's, when BG came home, I knew that. When BG came home, it was, um, I knew they didn't respect real. This guy, a stand-up guy, a real guy through the hood, everybody know he came to Detroit, Michigan. He was a stand-up guy. And when he came home, they called him zesty, gay, not a real, you know what I'm saying? But then they look up to guys like uh, these young rappers, you know, NBA young boy. They making millions of dollars off rap. How can they be these killers that y'all think they are? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, you get it. It's hard to explain. Like when I tried to put it on earlier, it was hard to explain what I was saying, what I was saying. Like the older guys in the 80s, they didn't have no example before them. They were the example. D 
then now you go into the nineties and two thousands. You see, what I'm, you see where mm -hmm. I'm going with it. They, mm -hmm. they, you know, what I'm saying these guys are mocking them guys, but not respecting them guys, and it's just a bad. It's just a, just a whole. So bad. Blue, blue, how many times do you post like uh, content? Like once, uh, probably try, I try to do it like once a day now. Once a day. When I first started, I tried to do it like um, I was doing like once a week maybe. So yeah. is that the key? Like, is that one of the keys to like blowing your channel up? Is consistently posting every day? Yeah, you got to yeah. post every day. Listen, that's the thing. You have to stay consistent. I watched that on YouTube. One thing about it, you have to keep posting, posting, and posting, and posting, and that and that and that builds your algorithm. Up. What are any other like uh, so called? secrets that you that that will well kind of bring yeah that's out. one that's definitely one you know keep posting and just do where your heart at you know what i'm saying don't try to go off on what you think that's trending just be you and that's what's gonna get it you know what i'm saying because it might be slow but it's gonna take on you know what i'm saying because you being yourself you know what i'm saying i see a lot of people that don't make it you know i, I read up on these things and a lot of people don't think what they're doing is working so they try to go to something, Do something else. else. And it's definitely not going to work. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm right, saying? Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You got to be yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, like I told you, man, good character win the race, man. And y'all got that. And you got the product. And you keep going, man. It's not going to take long. It, you might go from 300 um, subscribers now to 30,000 tomorrow. You don't know what one video can change your whole life. So did that happen with you? Like, was it, was it slow at first? And then it just all of a sudden took off. And if, if that if that was so, what number of what, how many subscribers did you have when it just like just shot up to like uh, like man like to be honest, it kind of like I guess from what people say, I always got good views. And okay. I guess that you know. So you look, came out the gate with good good I views. I did because of the content. Like I say, the content that I was talking about. You know, what I'm saying I'm just talking about. And I'm just being real. This is a real guy talking real things, and it just took off, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Imitation without representation is what you were saying earlier. I would like to know what you do to engage your viewers. I think one of the issues I have with <laughs> with with my with my social media is that I, I I'm not entirely sure how to engage. The people that are that are that are follow, that are watching me or are following me, how do you make sure that you're? This is for them, you okay. know. That okay. people that are commenting and things like that. How how what are you doing to to keep them coming back? Well, first, you know, you got to be handsome, you know. Okay, okay, and I'm okay. Talking, no, 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 no. I was just joking with you, man. No, you just listen, man. This this how I keep them. It's just being coming out my heart. You know what I'm saying? I do different type of uh it depends on your what you do. I talk real stuff, real life events, right? Right. Like just like the stuff we just talked talk, talked about. That's dear to my heart. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just did I just did one on what we just talked about. And I had to do it ten times over sometime before I even put it out, right? That's the thing about like we live now, right? Yeah. So it's like like I'm still stuck. You see, I'm kind of stuck talking about it, but you got to have your heart into it. And like, I got my heart into what y'all just asked me, like how I was then and now, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like then it was guys different and they thought this way and this way, you know what I'm saying? So at home, I got, I, I can sit there and do it over 10 times, but now I'm live. Like I damn near fumbled it, fumbled it because I couldn't really answer it, but I want to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just about being real, man. It's about, Whatever you love, whatever your content about, you stick to that and have a passion about it. Like, like I just I'm reiterating it again, if you go off what you're doing, that That's might, right. it's not going to work. You, I think that anybody who had their passion about it, like them guys with the cars, I watched them guys, CJ So Cool, CJ All Them, them guys didn't just, they didn't come, you know what I'm saying? They didn't, just didn't blow up. It took a while, but once you once you get there, like I told you, one video can change your whole life. Have you ever uh, talked about Charles White on any of your videos? Man, what? You, what? That's all I talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I talked about him. <laughs> like, what do you feel about? Times. What do you feel about him, though? <laughs> it's mixed emotions. Charles White like me, right? 
I'm a S talking dude, right? I don't want to owe y'all fifty dollars. So I'm an S talking dude, right? So I talk a lot of junk, just like him, and a lot of his stuff, like pretty much, he take words right out my mouth, right? I love him. I think he, I think, I think Charleston White could be like the new Malcolm X to us if he wanted to be, right? How is it? How is it that he can say those things on YouTube and, them, listen, and not get? He not getting paid. But see, that's what do you mean thing. he not getting that's paid? That's the thing about YouTube. He don't get paid off YouTube. He will tell you all the time. YouTube striked him out. Once well, how get, is he on the platform? That's the thing. They will get paid off you, right? They will make money off you, but you don't get paid. You see what but I'm saying? But they keep you on there. They keep you on there because, like, right now I got struck. Dog, twice. what? I, listen to me. You listen. Pull him up right now. He'll tell you. You can Google this right now. Charles the White not get paid on YouTube. He said a thousand times he's not getting paid on here. But they getting paid off him, though. But y'all know that Fresh and Fit, I think that's what it is. They got took down. They You still seeing they content up on YouTube. Wow. It's that's, crazy. That's so crazy. don't ever forget that. Look, so they get, get paid, but they don't, but and still can't. keep you on there, but Charles won't pay. Charles the White is the biggest thing They're on YouTube. They're not going to turn their money down. Charles the White is one of the biggest. You see, all I seen down my thing was Charles the White and Crip Mac. Charleston White got banned, struck down. Boom, we don't want you here. But guess what? Everybody put them up. You know how much money Charleston White made YouTube in, in 20 since the pandemic? No, what, uh-uh. what's the numbers? I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i just saying, it got to be a lot. Cause all For them I, to keep them up there. All I see is Charleston White on everything. You know what I'm saying? That's all you see is Charleston White. So he getting his money evidently some other way. Yeah, he'll tell you that. You gotta listen to him. He say, you know, he got it's different. It's I can't. It's it's no, it's way more it's way more platforms than YouTube to get money off of. I try but, to keep my mind like focused on other stuff, so yeah. like but you know, it's it's there, it's right in front of your face. And sometimes I just get into what he's saying, like, you know, I know it's like he talk about any and everything. Any and every, I'm talking about reckless. No, 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 you can't do that on YouTube. Reckless. But, but, but I see this one dude on TikTok, the, the dude who talk all the nasty stuff, the old black man. Like, if I cuss on YouTube off rip, they going to take take it down and mute me, right? But this guy, I can show, what's his name? Uh, Papa something. He talk about doing all type of things to women, right? Off rip, you would think he would be banned, but he on there. So... But, uh, I didn't mean to cut you off, but like, like, how do uh, like, like, uh, drink champs and stuff like that? Right. They're drinking on there, they smoking on there, and they still getting the views that they get. Like, how are they able to do it? Man, and a guy like you, you, I can't, can't. I don't know. Is it? You know, that's crazy. Like, I don't know if drink, drink champs. See, these guys got other platforms. There's so many other platforms to make revenue from. Like, plus, you know, they were revolt. You understand what I'm okay, saying? Okay. So they would have. They don't really care about YouTube. You know, YouTube showed them. So I mean, I don't know. If, I don't know how that worked with them. But I know Charles White say he don't get paid off YouTube. But that's a question I've been asking. And the same thing with TikTok. TikTok do 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 it the same way, man. You will see guys shooting guns and um, all type of stuff on TikTok. But I'm telling you, if I I can put something right now, I wish we had time. I have to get my phone right now. And to start off cussing on it, right? I'd be like, be this or ace this. And watch. Within, as soon as I post it, within five minutes, they're going to mute it. They're going to take it down. So I don't understand how I see all these guys with these guns, all the sex stuff on there. I don't know how they do it. I just don't know. I didn't. And then my man, he cuss and talk so bad. But I'm like, man, there's been times that I had said way less than this. Sometimes I didn't share somebody else stuff. On TikTok or, you know what I'm saying, they'll take it down. I got struck for calling. Listen, I got struck for calling. Uh, what's the what's the dude name who rapped? The little black gremlin dude. What's his name? That's like every last <laughs> one. No, no, no. The dude who did the song, I'm a about. gremlin, the little black guy. Oh, Kodak. Kodak, yeah, Kodak Black. black. I, called, I called that dude a slave, right? Because I was talking about how. You call- I called him a slave. And then they, 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 they struck me. Because I was telling, I said, man, look. He a slave because... Wait a minute, wait, hold on. We ain't trying to get struck. <laughs> no, we ain't going to get struck. Oh, yeah, well, I can't go into... We can't go into all that. Yeah, so. but You just no. said five cuss <laughs> words. Hey, 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 no, hey, we ain't... Hey. No, you can't get struck so, on cuss words. I'm tell, you like, t- like, tell the listeners out there, like, what are strikes? So, so strikes. I say right now, if I say, you know, 
So I'm not gonna get you one, but just say if I talk about the LGBTQ community. Instantly getting took down. Anyway, I'm talking about even in a positive, I'm talking about me. I got look, I got struck by In a positive way they'll take you down? Listen, man, I didn't say nothing bad about them. I just said my opinion. It's funny, I can be on your show and talk about whatever, right? It's crazy how I see guys on people's shows like this and they don't get struck. So I was just saying how I thought that was a mental illness, right? Mm -hmm. I was just saying how I thought that um, being something that you wouldn't born, identifying as something that you wouldn't born was a mental illness. That's what I thought, right? So Mm -hmm. I put that up, all right? Struck me. They struck me for that. They struck me for calling dog. And the reason I called dog that is because... I said, dog, you sold out the coat. I mean, to uh, what's the dude name with the colorful hair? Six nine. Now you did a song with six nine. You sold out. See, these guys are buying this, man. See, listen. You think, you think, dog. Listen, man. How do you do a song with this guy? And this, you dissing him, and you think that by you dissing him and his, he, all he wanted to do was buy you. He gave you a million dollars to say, look, this guy's supposed to be a stand up dude, right? He's supposed to be not a snitch, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I bet I, these guys are in the higher ups. Like, look, go buy him, give him a million dollars. Mm-hmm. I bet he, I bet he'll do something with a snitch. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They buying us, dog. Mm-hmm. And that's not the only thing that I'm saying that they buying us on. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You supposed to be the stand up street dude, man. They buy, man. Come on, man. It's it's so much stuff I talked about, man. That's so real, man. Just gotta watch, just watch my page. You will see. I'm telling you, man, because and they, and they struck me for that. I got struck twice. When I got struck, I've been struck once before and got over the strike, but then they struck me back to back. So one. what's the strikeout rule? Three. You out. Three, you gone. I mean, so it, it do forever. it re, like do it repeat itself? Or nah, you get, nigga, I mean, like nah, do you get like like nah. okay after a certain time we're gonna erase like probation them? or no? Nothing? It ain't no probation. If you get, look, they can strike you three times on one thing, but if they ever they struck, can what? Yes, like. You can you can erase something. They can strike you on it. Like I can say something right now and think I took all my stuff down. They told me on the thing. Look, even if it's took down, how you know you got a strike? What what do they say? No, they tell you. They tell you. They send you a a, a thing on there. They say you got one strike, which be like a week or something. You know you can't post or something. But then when you get two strikes, so I already got one, so it's a warning. Then I got the second one. It was like a week. Then I got. <laughs> then that they was done. I got struck twice in the same month. I got struck, I told you, for the Kodak Black thing and Boosie thing. Then I got struck for the talking about um, that's a mental illness. So you got two strikes on you right now. No, they gone. He said three. No, no, they gone. Oh, they go. So they do this. No, three, you out. No, so they disappear after a certain. They they disappear. So if you get, so you just can't get struck, struck, struck. Then they gonna be like, look. But they can strike you back to back on one on one thing. You know what I'm saying? I was getting hate. Listen, it. it, Listen, I was getting hate. I was getting dudes. Somebody I know did that to me. I mean, there's no doubt. Ain't nobody listening, man. All the, they reported all the, you. They reported. So me. they got YouTube snitches. Snitches. <laughs> yes. But listen, if you listen to my man, he'll tell you. Listen, that's what they doing. Um, dog, dog face Cal Jones will tell you. That's what they do, dog. It be people with like fake accounts, right? And they come on your account and say something bad to you. As soon as you respond to it, like you know, f you, this, this, this. Then they say, hey, this guy. Hey, just trolling you. you. So how but, do you deal with that negativity when it come on to your page or in the comments? Do you do you not respond or because people reading this? So. I, I haven't had look, son, be honest. I haven't had really no negativity on my page, and that's the thing. I'm always like, you ain't you ain't big until you get the negativity. They gonna come. They they, coming. they coming. Oh, they coming because you're steadily growing as a, as a, yeah, as, a, but as a, pretty, pretty much. I swear to God, all my all my Views is great, man. Now you you right there on the point where you are starting to make some traction. money, some traction yeah, yeah. and money on on YouTube. So what are like the uh, requirements for you to start getting Paid. a paycheck from YouTube? So you got to get with the um. See, so once you get a thousand, you got to have a thousand followers or a million views on your um shorts. So if you get a million views on your shorts first, like if you're doing shorts, like y'all might do shorts, like a little city stuff, mm-hmm. and they get to a million or that. So once you get a thousand views, then they're going to send you, it's going to come up on your page. 
you'll fill the stuff out. And it's a it's a number of of, of watch time hours as well. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. You gotta have see they gotta go hand in hand. So not only you got the views, you can have a thousand views, but you don't have like four thousand watch, watch hours, hours or whatever yeah. it is. And so, the three million, oh, is it, it might be three million. But I had got discouraged. I said, oh man. Now we gotta have three million uh, shorts, though. shorts. But I think it's either it's either or. So it's gonna it's be either or. it's either or. It is. Yeah. So once you get see, listen, man, y'all gonna be at a thousand. Probably you probably get there at the they after see this they video. See this, yeah. they, you gonna get I'm, I'm you, open. You, you, <laughs> you, know, you gonna get here. You gonna get here by January. This might take you over. But look, what I'm saying is, you no know, real talk. You get a thousand. It seemed like it take forever, but once you get the thousand, you know it start moving quickly. You know what I'm saying? You get traction quickly. Um, but like I'm at four thousand now, four thousand something now, right? Like I said, ain't nothing big within a year. But they say once you get to that four thousand, that's when it take off. But I'm telling you now, the strikes just left me, and now I'm I'm not getting no traction. Like I thought when I came to you. I had what four forty one. I thought I was gonna have like three four one hundred by the time I came to you, but you know it's like like I say, man. But one thing for sure, as long as you keep moving, you in the you in the pot. I talk a lot of junk. I cuss a lot. I do different things. Right? We yeah. got two different platforms. You a positive platform. You got good people around you. Bro, you gonna blow. So you you say that's like one of the keys. And you got a product too. Yeah. So so like, what are you? Selling, or are you just want to make the money off of? Uh, well, you know, I sold shirts that you did for me. That's eventually, what I'm like, so do you have a plan? Like, are you going to like and eventually like sell your dogs? Or oh, of course, of course, merchandise, of course, of course. or like, like yeah. what, what, what? What's the plan? Yeah, so, so right off rip, I just need. I don't have nobody to do it for me. Like I said, everything I'm, I'm doing now, I pretty much I gotta you know pay my way. So. I like the dog. We got the dogs for sale, right? We got the dogs for sale. I got the merch and all my merch clay made for me. So them shirts everybody been asking for, like everybody been asking for the shirts and hats. Oh, we gonna put we gonna put it on the floor. No, listen, you, 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 this, this this is why I got them done. No, a lot of people ask for the, you know what I'm saying. So we need them. So he make all my merch. So all my merch is done right here. So I'm telling y'all that right now. So this is where it's done when y'all ask for it. So. If y'all need something made yourself, y'all know where to come. That's number one. But um, even this shit I got on right here, the stuff I got on right here, stuff I said. Man, that's stuff. that's I got $50. Stuff I, 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 I ring that cat. Bring it, bring it one more time. And yeah, even man, the back. Bring it five comment. times. <laughs> and, um, that's how I get paid off podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah, this, 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 I'm selling the merch that you do for me. I'm selling dogs. You know what I'm saying? Um, and also just promoting yourself for promote like other movies and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, movies and stuff like yeah, that, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, once I learn it, I love better myself, you know, we're going to come up in this game together. Like, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep, yep. yeah. That's what's up, man. Uh, Blue, you just got to let everybody know uh, where they can watch your videos, how to get in touch with oh, if yeah. they need to. Oh, yeah. Y'all, y'all just, the red carpet for them. Yeah, y'all just going to Trap Talk Blue. Uh, YouTube, that's me. Um, Trap Talk Blue, TikTok, also, I'm on that. And I'm on Trap Talk Blue, Facebook, and Instagram. And that's how you can find me on all them, all them, all them pages, all the same thing, man. And, and uh, what, what can we look forward to? Well, what's coming up next for Trap Talk? What's coming up next for Blue? Well, I told you, man, I'm trying to start my porn career, you know, me and my okay, wife. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. She mad. No. This up. <laughs> we love her life. <laughs> she like shit. <"Yeah." laughs> no, but um, we we just, uh, I'm just, this, this this what I'm on. This I'm doing full, you know what I'm saying, besides doing what I do on the side, the dogs, the, you know, the everyday life. I'm just um trying to teach, you know, put positivity out here. I'm trying to be an activist. You know what I'm saying? I okay. want to be an activist. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Right. You know, because, um, like I said, so much injustice has been done in our neighborhood. Dick Gregory type No, guy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, Comedian, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. me. That's you. you. Know? That's what I'm trying to do. Real okay. talk. And Dick Gregory was funny, but he was serious at okay. the same time. Trap talk. And I swear that's uh, me, uh, man. Uh, To end this podcast, can you like uh, tell a, uh, a joke without cussing? A joke. Okay. <laughs> Kind of joke y'all want to hear. All right, listen. Not, not. 
right. It's, <laughs> no. it's, it's a raunchy one, but here okay, we go. Okay, here we right? go. Okay. So, a little girl walked in the room, right? So, she, her mama was getting dressed. So, the, the, the little girl said, ooh, mama. She looked down. She said, ooh, mama, what's that? What's those? She said, baby, these are breasts. The little girl said, oh, when am I going to get some of those? She said, baby, when you get older. So, the little girl went out for a minute, came back. She she looked at her mama again. She said, "Ooh, mama, what's that?" <laughs> she said, "Baby, this this hair this hair on your vagina." She said, "Ooh, mama, when I'm gonna get that?" She said, "When you," <laughs> she said, "She said you gonna get some of that when you get older." She Why said, did I ask? She you said, said, "She said, <laughs> she, said, she, said <laughs> she said, she said, now go in there with your stepdaddy." Stepdaddy getting ready. Little girl looked down. She said, "Ooh, daddy, what's that?" <laughs> she said, "He said a big black penis." He said, oh, stepdaddy, when I'm going to get some of that? She said, as soon as your mama leave. <laughs> no, that ain't fun. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all stupid, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, man, I'm not no, getting no strikes I, off this, man. No, no, no. We ain't going to do that. We, ain't, we don't know. Y'all going to edit that. This is for the... Nah, it ain't no, it ain't bro. Wrong. Wrong. We <laughs> no. live. We live. You be doing yeah. wrong. We, this oh, we is all wrong. Some, okay. No, yeah. Well, yeah. No, we ain't going to get no strikes. I got another one for you. No, I'm just talking, John, man. No, I... You know, I'm a runchy guy. So, you know, I, I held it in today by the Yeah, you, you, did, you did a good job on only $50. I thought I'd make a little more. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, like a oh, C well. plus there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. held it back. Hey, hey man, but you, you, know, you know what's crazy about it, man? It's like me trying to explain myself about that, the difference in the 80s and the, 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 the now kids, right? Like I had a problem with that early. I did, I did, I did one three, four times, and I couldn't really, you know what I'm saying, put it together in my mind. You know what I'm saying. So it's like, you know, sometimes I be stuck in front of the camera. Like, man, what, what do I say and do? But you always want to keep it real. Like I say, that's what I learned in this in this game right here. It's as long as you be yourself and be you, you gonna make it, man. They don't want nothing else but the real, you the know real, what I'm saying? The realness, so the that's re- what, that's, yep. that's the key, that's one of the keys to, to it all. Yep, that's what okay. it is. Yeah. That's, that's it. All right, how can, how can I get one of them dogs you got? Shit, what, what, you want one now? We got a couple around. So how many you got? <laughs> shit, K, you ain't no got, we got, how many 60. you got over there? Yeah, we got about, at least fifteen puppies on the floor. We got bull dogs and Frenchies on the floor right now. Okay, and so then, it, it, look, it, it, Grumpy about to have. We got puppies at the house right now. If, any of, if anybody want to get one of them Frenchies, you know, uh, off this podcast, I'm just gonna uh, I get a little cut. They just mentioned sure. uh, CYPT. Yeah, you know when they get when they, they get a they get, they get a discount for sure. And then I get mine on the back end. You got it. All right, let's get <laughs> it. You can make your money back. Yeah, All right, blue. Talking. You know it. Boogie. Boogie, you have just listened to the Can You Picture This Podcast. The podcast for the strongest, fastest, most powerful t-shirt slash print shop on this side of the eastern seaboard. You can catch us in the heart of Detroit, Greenfield and Grand River, Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Our address is 14223 Greenfield Road, Detroit, Michigan, 48227. Our phone number is 313-273-5000.